Hello, you are welcome. In this video, you are going to evaluate this with our calculator. We have 9 divided by 4 raised to the power of 9 divided by 4. Now remember, 9 is a perfect square, which is 3 to the power of 2. And 4 is a perfect square, which is 2 to the power of 2. So we are going to replace this 9 here with 3 power 2, and also this 4 here with 2 power 2. So we have 3 to the power of 2 divided by 2 to the power of 2 and this is raised to the power of 9 over 4. Now, if you have a to the power of c divided by b to the power of c, this equals a divided by b all to the power of c. So by applying this right here, you are simply going to have 3 divided by 2, this is raised to the power of 2, and this is also raised to the power of 9 over 4. Now, the next step will be for us to apply this identity. If you have a to the power of m, raised to the power of m, this equals we have a to the power of n times m. So we apply this right here. That means we are going to multiply this out. We are going to have 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of 2 times 9, that is 18 divided by 4. And this will give us 2 divided 18, 9 divided 2. If I for 2, so we have 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of 9 over 2. Now, the next step will be for us to consider this 9 over 2. If you have 9 divided by 2, this simply means we can express this 9 here as summation of 4 and 5 divided by 2. So 9 divided by 2 is the same thing as writing 4 plus 5 divided by 2. So from here we have, this is 3 divided by 2, raised to the power of 4 plus 5 divided by 2. Now, don't forget if you have 4 plus 5 divided by 2, this is just like writing 4 divided by 2 plus 5 divided by 2. So we can't replace this with what we have here. So from here, we are simply going to have 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of this is 4 divided by 2 plus 5 divided by 2. And from here, 4 divided by 2 here is 2. So that we are simply going to have 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of 2 plus 5 divided by 2. Now, if you have a raised to the power of n plus n, this equals a power n times a power n. So we apply this right here. That means we are simply going to have 3 divided by 2, this raised to the power of 2 times 3 divided by 2, and this raised to the power of 5 over 2, making use of this particular identity. Now, recall that you have a divided by b raised to the power of c. This equals a power c divided by b power c. So using that here, that means we are simply going to have 3 power 2 divided by 2 power 2. Then this would then multiply 3 over 2 raised to the power of 5 over 2. So from here, we are going to have 3 power 2. This is 9 divided by 2 power 2. This is 4 times 
this is 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of 5 over 2. Now, if you have a raised to the power of n divided by m, this equals the m root of a power n. So we apply this right here. That means we are simply going to have 9 divided by 4 times. This becomes the square root. Remember, square root takes care of these two. So we have square root of 3 divided by 2. And this is raised to the power of 5. So from here, now what we are going to do will be we have 9 divided by 4 times. This I can have root of 3 divided by root of 2. And this is raised to the power of 5. Don't forget, if you have square root of a divided by b, this equals root of a divided by root of b. So, we apply this right here. That means we have square root of 3 divided by square root of 2 or raised to the power of 5. So from here on, we're going to have 9 divided by 4 times. Here, I can distribute this exponent. We have root of 3 raised to the power of 5 divided by root of 2 raised to the power of 5. Remember, if you have a divided by b raised to the power of c equals a power c divided by b power c. So we just apply this right here. We distributed the powers to each of these terms here. So from here, we are going to find the value of root of 3 power 5. If I have 9 divided by 4 times, here, root of 3 power 5 equals root 3 times, root 3 times, root 3 times, root 3. And we have finally times root 3. So this equals root 3 times root 3 as root 9. And root 9 is 3. So 3 times root 3 times 3 root 3. 3 root 3 times 3 root 9. That becomes 3 times 3 times 9. 9 times root 3. So we have this is 9 root 3. So the next thing will be we consider root 2 raised to the power of 5. We have root 2 raised to the power of 5. This equals root 2 times root 2 times root 2 times root 2 times root 2. So root 2 times root 2, that is root 4. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 times root 2. Root 2 times 2 root 2 times another root 2. That becomes 2 root 4. And 2 root 4 is 2 times 2 because root 4 is 2. So it becomes 2 times 2 is 4. And this will give us 4 root 2. So this gives us 9 root 3 divided by 4 root 2. So from here, we are going to multiply this out. We have 9 times 9, that is 81. Root 3 divided by 4 times 4, that is 16 root 3. Root 2, sorry, so this is rather root 2. So, we can decide to rationalize the denominator by multiplying the numerator with this, that is root 2, and we also divide it by the same root 2. So, this gives us 81 times root 3 times root 2 will give us root 6 divided by 16 times root 2 times root 2, that is root 4, and root 4 is 2. We have this. So, from here, we have this is 81 root 6 divided by 16 times 2 that is 32 and there is no number that can easily divide 81 and 32 so we leave it this way this becomes our final answer without calculator 81 root 6 divided by 32 now 
I believe if you find it difficult to understand this point and this point, you can just check it out. This simply means root 3 times root 3 is root 9. Then root 3 times root 3 is another root 9. And this is just root 3. So root 9 times root 9, root 9 is 3, times root 9 here is 3, times root 3. So 3 times 3, this is 9, times this is 9 root 3. That is how we got it. If you did not understand it, the same thing here. Root 2 times root 2, this is root 4. Times root 2 times root 2, we have root 4. Then we have times root 2. Root 4 is 2, root 4 is 2. Then we have times root 2. 2 times 2, that is 4. Then we have 4 root 2. So that was how I got them, if you did not understand it the first time. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.